Hello students, in today's class we shall start with the last lesson that you have in your main textbook and the name of the lesson is Silk Road written by English author Nick Middleton. In today's class we will be discussing about the theme of the story followed by introduction to the characters and For your convenience, the story has been divided into major subheadings. So one by one, let us have a look at all these things and we will be starting up with the theme of the story. This chapter is a part of a travelogue about the author's travel along with the ancient trade route called Silk Road regions as they are now. This account of the Silk Road with its contrasts and exotic detail describes the challenges and hardships that the author faced while journeying to Mount Kailash on a pilgrimage. Let us look at the prominent characters. The first one is the author who is a professor of geography at Oxford University and also an environmental consultant. Second prominent character is Sitan, who is the owner of the car hired by the author for the journey as well as being a tourist guide. And the third character is Norbu. He is a Tibetan working at an academy in Beijing who wants to carry out the pilgrimage to Mount Kailash. Very quickly let us have a look at the major subheadings under which the story is divided. The first being departure from Ravu. The author left Ravu along with Daniel and interpreter and Stan who was a tourist guide. Before leaving Lamo, the lady who had provided them accommodation at Rao gave the author a gift of a long-sleeved sheepskin coat as they were going to Mount Kailash where it would be very cold. Stan knew a shortcut to reach the mountain. He said the journey would be smooth if there was no snow. Second major heading. The group saw broke bars on the way. As they passed through the hills, they saw individual broke bars that are nomad shepherds who were looking after their flocks. Both men and women were seen. They were wearing thick woolen clothes. They would stop and stare at their car, sometimes even waving to them as they passed. Third major subheading is Encounter with Tibetan Mastiffs. As they passed the nomad tents, they saw some Tibetan Mastiffs which were dogs used by the shepherds. When the car came close to their tents, they would bark furiously and fearlessly. They would chase the car for some distance and would then go back. In earlier days, Tibetan mastiffs became popular in China's imperial courts as hunting dogs. They were brought along the Silk Road as a tax payment from Dear students, this is all that we have to discuss in today's class. Other major subheadings, we will be discussing it in the next class. Till then, thank you.